Hey, Brainiacs! The age of the dinosaurs had some of the biggest, most powerful, and fiercest creatures to have ever roamed the Earth. There were awesome hunters like this fearsome T-Rex. Enormous plant-eating dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus. And giant flying reptiles like Quetzalcoatlus Northropi. But if these amazing creatures died off long before humans even existed, how do we know so much about dinosaurs? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome back to Brain Candy TV. Scientists who study ancient life like dinosaurs are called paleontologists. And thanks to them, we get to learn all these cool facts about dinosaurs, even though they went extinct millions of years ago. Some of the most important clues we have for learning about dinosaurs come from studying fossils. Lizzie loves to visit the Natural History Museum where she can look at all of the cool dinosaur fossils. Dinosaur body fossils, like the ones we see in museums, are very rare and hard to find. They're usually buried deep underground and less than one in a million dinosaur skeletons become fossils because a special process must happen to turn these bones into fossils that can last millions of years. If a dinosaur dies near a lake or a river, the body might sink into the mud and be buried quickly. When this happens, the dinosaur's bones are nicely protected from damage and from predators that might want to chew on them. Slowly, the bones get buried deeper and deeper under layers of dirt or sediment that hardens under pressure and turns into rock over time. The rock stays wet from the nearby water, and that water becomes filled with tiny pieces of rock called minerals. As time goes on, the buried bones become soft and spongy. Minerals from the rock water wash into the spongy bones. Over thousands or millions of years, little by little, the minerals in the water make the spongy bones hard as stone. These stone-like bones are called fossils. Millions of years later, if we dig in the right place or if the deep layers of rock are exposed, we can find these body fossils that are left behind by these amazing ancient creatures. We know that most of the great dinosaurs died off around 66 million years ago. But did you know that the descendants of some dinosaurs are still around today? Before we learn which dinosaurs still exist, let's take a look at these two dinosaurs. Deinonychus and Velociraptor. They're both from a group of dinosaurs called theropods. Deinonychus had a large brain size compared to its body and it was probably one of the smartest dinosaurs of them all. Its name means terrible claw because of the large, very sharp talons on its hind feet, which it used for catching its prey and possibly for climbing. Deinonychus grew up to 11 feet long and weighed about as much as an adult man. It was covered in feathers and had small feathered wings and a long feathery tail, but it could not fly. Its large tail could be used as a counterbalance, which made Deinonychus very agile when chasing down and leaping on its prey. Velociraptors lived about 33 million years after Deinonychus went extinct and were much smaller at 6 foot 9 inches and weighed only as much as a medium-sized dog. When paleontologists found a well-preserved Velociraptor arm fossil, shown here at the top, they discovered little evenly spaced bumps on it called quill knobs, seen here in a close-up. These little bumps are where feathers are attached to the bone. This picture shows a modern turkey vulture bone that also has quill knobs. And this picture shows where the feathers would attach to the quill knobs on the bone. 
This discovery of quill knobs on a velociraptor bone confirmed for the first time that velociraptor was covered in feathers. Both Deinonychus and Velociraptor are now extinct, but both of these dinosaurs were covered in feathers, had hollow bones, walked on two legs with three toes, and they laid eggs. Can you guess which type of modern animal might be a distant relative of theropod dinosaurs like these? If you guessed birds, you're right! Modern birds are distant relatives of the last surviving theropod dinosaurs. Can you see the similarities between Deinonychus and these large modern birds? Like this cassowary, this shoebill, and this ostrich? The birds that we see today have a lot in common with theropod dinosaurs. In fact, birds are still considered dinosaurs. You might think that pterosaurs would be the ancestors of modern birds because they could fly. But that's not the case. Pterosaurs weren't actually dinosaurs. They were flying reptiles. The largest known pterosaur was Quetzalcoatlus. That's Quetzalcoatlus. It was one of the largest flying creatures in the history of the world, with a wingspan of around 36 feet. That's the same size as a small airplane. In fact, it's the exact same wingspan as this Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Wow! When standing on the ground, Quetzalcoatlus would have been as tall as the tallest creature alive today. At around 18 feet high, it was as tall as a giraffe. Whoa! Imagine if one of these decided to land beside you. Quetzalcoatlus also had powerful limbs that allowed it to walk on all fours and launch itself into the air. All pterosaurs, including Quetzalcoatlus, and most dinosaurs went extinct around 66 million years ago. But some of the smaller theropod dinosaurs survived and slowly, over millions of years, evolved into all the varieties of birds we see today. So the next time you see a bird, you'll know that you're actually looking at a distant relative of these ancient feathered dinosaurs. How cool is that? Thanks to all our amazing Patreon Patrons for your support of our show. Special thanks to our new Super Brainiacs. Aiden, Leonardo, Madden, Jeevan, Luke R, Ellis, Calvin and Landon, Floramund, Hunter, Artie, and Perseus as well as our new fire truck level Brainiacs. Adrian and Barkley, Charlotte and William, Teddy, Oliver and Everett, Kamari, Adriano and Victoria, Nicholas Kalel, Finn and Athena, and Evangeline. You're awesome! Hey parents, if you'd like to see your child's name in the credits and other fun perks, Please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash braincandytv. Thanks so much for your support. It really means a lot.